how I laid them sides. Pop them with my curls. Pop them with my curls. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up, you guys? So, first of all, let me just say this. I'm feeling good today. You know what I'm saying? This is the third video of the day. We're about to make it rain with videos, okay, for the day. I'm thinking that I should do one more because I've had this goal set for three a day for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and maybe like two on Saturday because I got all these wigs that I need to review. But let me tell you guys something. This wig company, okay, this hair company, I think I worked with this company like eight times already. Plus, they got a store on Amazon, I think. They got AliExpress, and I know they have their own website. I'm not really sure about Amazon, but you know, everything that I know, I will post it below. West Kiss Hair. I have some good ass hair. You guys know if I am doing a video over and over again for the same company, then they got some good ass hair. They did send me their Water Wave Virgin Brazilian Water Wave. I think it's Brazilian. You know, I'll just post it below. And I have two 22s, a 20, and an 18 inch frontal. I probably did not use all of the last 18 inches. Um, it was probably like half of the bundle left. Um, also, they are having a season crazy sale up to 55% off for tax return. So, you know, you can spend your coins with them. Um, you will also get double coat um, points and stuff like that. I'm not really sure what the points do for you, but you could just check their website. There are special deals and codes that I will post down below, like $12 off, $5 off. 10 20 you know what I'm saying random free gifts and six dollars off with exclusive codes I will post their information all below I made this and I already bleached the knots of this frontal let me tell you about this frontal okay hunties first of all I had to go back in and re-bleach it because I didn't leave it on long enough well it's not that I didn't leave it on long enough I had made the um bleach mixture so thick that it hardly penetrated the lace or the, the roots so I had to redo it a little bit but I did tweeze some of it as well as I washed it and this curl pattern is pretty like I don't know why this is called water wave because this is I've seen other water waves and they don't look like this but this one came out really nice like this is some very full hair it's long um and I did bleach the knots I did say that right yeah but I used the um Sally Beauty Supply Store what you doing Sally behave Sally's Beauty Supply Store Purple Shampoo and I left it on for like three four hours I did so in some combs I like to put them there because if you put them like right here honeys they will not pull at your edges and I put an elastic band and I put a comb in the nape okay and I just put it on a regular dome cap a regular well the mesh band is dome caps you know hands on honey hands on so let's get into this all right you guys so let's get into this if my voice is kind of low it's because it's early in the morning and I'm trying to get this video done but as you guys see the hairline is a little bit too long or the lace frontal is too big it's just a frontal they're not really customized so in order to make this lay properly above my ears i'm just going to part it right above the ear like right at the top of my ear i'm going to make a part and then i'm going to take my small curved scissors and i'm going to cut into this unit you don't want the, the wig to be too big to where it's not laying properly over your ears. If you do that and you don't allow the lace to be like right over your ears, then the wig is not going to lay as flat as you want it to. And nine times out of ten, you're probably going to get pissed off. So make sure that the lace is like right above the ears with any wig. It could be a store-bought wig. you still going to have to do this. Trust me. So that was like a lot of hair, but you know, that's to be expected. Now it looks proper, that looks like a wig. So now I'm just gonna cut off the excess lace that's in the front, cause you girl, listen, you really don't wanna go outside wearing this. And now, you know, standard for me, I'm gonna make me some oh, sideburn hairs. Like I said, it's too early in the morning. So I'm just gonna make me some sideburn hairs. 
along with some of uh, my wispy or baby hairs. The gel that I used is the Got To Be Glam Force Gel. Now, I made my gel thicken. I just poured a little bit of it in a jar and I leave it in that jar and I just take the top off and let the gel sit with the air hitting it for about 10 minutes and then it'll thicken which means it'll dry a lot faster so if you want to do that it'll dry a lot faster but just to adhere my wig and allow it to hold for like three to four or five days i'm just going to use the glam force got to be 48 hour hold spray i know i said like three to four days my wig would be in place and i'm not lying because I tie it up at night. So hairspray does say 48 hours, but I mean, you can get it to last longer than that, okay? But anyway, you guys, just take that hairspray and just spray around the hairline, not on the hairs. Like you could spray it behind your baby hairs and your wispy hairs like you see me do. And you could just blow dry on cool or medium heat, or you could just let it air dry. I will tell you guys this much. This hairspray, that hairspray does dry really, really quick. You don't even need a blow dryer. So if you ain't got one, girl, don't even worry about it. Just let it air dry. You'll be good to go. You know, and all you need to do is just make sure that the lace is, like, melted in your skin. Just make sure the lace is pressed out if you don't let it air dry. So as you see, the part came out really good. But, you know, I do need to trim some of those baby hairs, uh, wispy hairs that I created. Because that would just look crazy. So I'm going to just take my scissor and trim away. I'm kind of, like, cutting down an angle. And I'm also going to, you know, cut it to where it's not so sharp. Now, just to thin out the hairline or just press the hairline. Because as you see, my hairline is kind of poofy. Or not poofy, but it's not laying down because it's curly hair. You know what I mean? But I do want it to lay and slick it down in the front. Now, you can either do with a hot comb method. But, you know, sometimes we might end up burning ourselves. So, we try to avoid that. So, I'm going to use the Got To Be Styling Most that you see me apply. And I'm just going to take my baby hairs first. And I'm going to sculpt them into my you know hairline with the styling mousse and my edge brush and y'all know that's not my favorite brush but i'm gonna just use it for the sake of this video and now as you see i'm taking the mousse once again and i'm just applying just a small amount to the hairline and brushing it into the hair and towards the back this will help lay the hairline down you can use a blow dryer which I'm using now and I'm using the nozzle as you guys see I'm pressing the nozzle into the hairline in the front now this is not going to make the hair hard because that mousse does not do that that's why I like to use the mousse because the mousse will not make the hair hard but it will help in any type of flyaways and control the hair and styling so once again it's going to repeat that on the opposite side and as you see, my baby hairs are on fleek. Girl, okay, I know I did this. I don't really give a damn on what anybody said. These baby hairs came out real nice, honey. And look how nice and glossy the hair look. This styling mousse from got to be is bomb too, okay? So anyway, I'm just gonna sculpt, as you guys see, I'm just sculpting my baby hairs. Okay, you can use gel if you want. I like to use both the gel or the styling mousse. And I'm just going to take that styling mousse once again and, you know, brush it into the hairline and backwards. And then also make sure my baby hairs is complete. Ow. But as you guys see, using the blow dry nozzle will also help lay down your hairline as you guys see right here. It will make the hairline straight and it will allow the hairs to lay, especially if you have a nozzle. If you don't, you can use like a small or fine comb or brush and also along with that, the blow dryer. This hair came out good. I really do like this. But I will see you guys, you know, in a second. I am loving this curl 
pattern. I'm not really sure why they call this water wave, but girl, hunty. I think I did a damn good job with this wig, okay? Let me tell y'all. This hair is beautiful. I love West Kiss. They have the bombest ass hair ever. So if I forgot to mention, when I did bleach the knots, it was brassy, but all I did was to make it look like this, like my scalp, is I used the Sally Beauty Supply Store Purple Shampoo twice. First, I lathered it up after I rinsed the bleach off, and then I rinsed the purple shampoo right out as soon as I lathered it up. And then I put it on a second time on the lace, and I lathered it up, and I let it sit for like three or four hours. That will take all the brassiness out and i pre-plucked it i didn't even pre-pluck too much the hairline wasn't too bad on their frontal like seriously it wasn't too bad and these waves are sickening okay sickening i love west kiss hair they got some bomb hair i love loose wavy hair this is gorgeous okay we're about to see how cute this hair looks with my glasses my shades girl hello now i'm saying this is cute, Hunty. Ooh, look at these shades. These are what you call glasses. I'm filling these glasses with this hair. Okay, so hold up. Can you see me? I'm saying, can you see me in these glasses? Bars. These are absolutely cute, fabulous eyes. You can check them out. This is bomb as hell, though. I love it. It gives me like this Gucci inspired look. I'm not really sure if it was supposed to be, but I'm feeling it. My curls are popping, so popping today, right now, that this is definitely popping for me. Yes, hunties. This is so, so freaking cute. These are cute. These are cute. Mommy, check the info box below. Check the description box. I promise you, you won't regret it. Uh, uh,